Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, time to do a What's New in Transformers. Yay! It's where I basically talk about new stuff coming out, and I don't have it in hand. I just like to talk about it. So uh, let's just get right to the show. Grab your popcorn, your favorite beverage, and uh, sit back and relax, and let's look at some new Transformers. All right. All right, up first, as always, add-on kits, add-on kits, add-on kits for days. And it looks like Go Better GX Studios GX9 is making a backfiller part for Earthrise Optimus Prime and the Dead Optimus Prime and everything. So that's pretty good. So, you know, if you felt like your the truck mode was missing something, which it was in the back, it was a big old gap. Hey, that rhymes. Uh, yeah, you got a little backfiller. So, yeah, it's coming up. And uh, if you want to get this, it's, you know, pretty cool. I'm sure it's going to be really cheap and everything. It's just one piece. So yeah, new backfiller for Go Better GX Studios GX9 uh, Optimus Prime Earthrise. And moving on, we got some new stuff for fans. Hobby. we got the first test shot of MBA-4 uh, special accessory pack for the Double Evil, their Overlord and everything. So we're getting a first look at this stuff. It looks pretty good. It looks like the new chest plates, a new gun, and some other smaller parts and everything. So yeah, if you have a Double Evil and you want some extra stuff then i guess uh this place has got it for you i don't know who's making this real quickly but um yeah uh it's just the uh test shots of the nba-4 special accessory pack for mb08 double evil all right overlord all right folks that's all we have for add-on kits so let's move on to one of my favorite things the legends and we got some new images of uh, the uh, iron factory's primal commander this is primal from the beast wars uh, we got some inbox images and out-of-box images i think pl actually did a, a review on this guy so he's you know coming out really soon so really looking forward to this guy uh they do a really good job with the uh Megatron and so this one looks pretty good as well. So yeah, new images of our Iron Factory's Primal Commander out of package and box art of uh yeah, Primal. Good stuff. And then we got a new shot of McFan McFans Toys and Mechanic Studios Thunderbolt. This is their Blitzwing in a jet mode and you know early uh, prototype piece. So everybody's looking forward to this guy. Astro Train was really good and I'm really looking forward to this one. I really hope they do the rest on like Sandstorm and you know Octane. I think oh, yeah we do have an Octane coming too so that's really nice. Uh, so yeah they're doing all the triple changers and that's awesome. So a new pick of uh, Mechanic Studios Thunderbolt also, also, also known as Blitzwing. And then we got some new images from Dr. Wu MC-02 Microscope. This is the Revenge of the Fallen Scapel. Uh, got some color test shots and everything, so he's going to be itty bitty. I know last week I showed, or last time I showed, they're going to do their Mozart, their uh, The Last Night Mohawk, and he's going to be really small, so this guy's going to be probably even smaller. But, you know, it looks pretty good. It's got some uh, nice color test shots and everything. Kind of looks high or something like that. It's got the red eyes and everything. So, yeah, new images of Dr. Wu MC-02 Microscope. All right, folks, that's all we got for Legends, so let's move on to third-party MP scale. And, man, I'm so excited for this. I got this on pre-order. It got new TT Hongli, Hongli Red Falcon. Uh, this is their Beast Former uh, kind of line. This is a new company, I guess, and uh, they're doing a Starscream. Uh, I, you know, they teased one a while back and everything, uh, but now we got definitely uh, what's going to be coming out in September, and we got some new picks, and the picks look really good, too. I'm really excited for this. Uh, like I said, I do have a pre-order for this, and I can't wait to get to see how it is and everything. I think it is a new company. It may be an older company that's rebranded or something. I don't know for sure, but we're getting a Falcon uh, Starscream, and it looks really good. So awesome, awesome Starscream. Then up next, we got some Banana Force. All right. We got a redesigned MBL-01B Black Sharpshooter. So this is going to be, I guess, another repaint of their Optimus Prime. I don't know, all they've done is put out Optimus Prime so far. I think they do got Ultra Magnus and some other ones coming out, but, you know, they're going to repaint and recolor the heck out of some Optimus Prime. So, yeah, new uh, image of MBL-01B Black Sharpshooter. All right, Banana Force. Then we got some sad news, which I'm really, you know, I had some really good stuff from them. Uh, unique Toys. Uh, there are Dash 04 Nero, which is their Galvatron uh, from the movieverse or Bayverse, is uh, going to be the last one they put out under the UT name or the Unique Toys name, which really sucks. I mean, their Dragoon and their, uh, you know, Challenger are really good. And their DX9 Hot Rod is also, because you know, DX9 and Unique Toys are the same. Uh, it was really good. I was really hoping they make a lot of movie bots because they make them really good. 
you know, they look, you know, it can transform from truck to bot, and you can't even tell that it was, a, you know, a truck or anything like that. So it looks really good. So, you know, kind of sad and everything. Hopefully, they may go over a new under a new name and, uh, you know, come back and uh, give us some more uh, movie bots because they're really good. But yeah, unique toys. Their last one is going to be R-04 Nero, which is their Galvatron. So. Oh, sad news. And we got a picture of MMC's Nino and Motif. Motif? Motif? I just jack up names. Anyways, they're BFFs and everything. So it's pretty cool. This is Rewind and their Chrome Dome and everything. So it's coming out soon. It looks like it's almost, you know, ready to come out. So yeah, they're, uh, I don't know. They're, I don't think they're doing a two pack, are they? I don't know for sure, but it'd be pretty cool if they did a little two pack of these guys. So yeah, BFFs. Awesome. And also from MMC or Mastermind Creations, we got a new reformatted Optus Pexus revealed. Uh, this is their IDW uh, Optimus Prime, uh, such as uh, Storm Springer and flashback stories of the War that Meets the Eyes and everything. Uh, not much else, you know, got some couple pics, you know, showing it and everything. It's got some nice uh, articulation and everything. And they are probably going to recolor the crap out of this one like they do with all Optimus Primes. But we got a new uh, MMC reformatted Optimus Pexus coming from uh, IDW Optimus Prime. All right, good stuff. And still sticking with MMC, Ocular Max is giving us some more images of Phobus, which is their brawl, and he's the final component for the Combaticons. So everybody that is in on this set are finally going to get their uh, Bruticus. That looks pretty good. So yeah, there's a brawl, uh, Phobus, I guess that's his name. I hope probably you know, crapped his name out as always, but MMC Ocular Mass is finally going to finish their uh, uh, Combaticons, and I think Defensor is going to be next, and I might be in on a Defensor, because uh, we, we need a, I don't have a, defense, a Defensor in, the, you know, MP scale, so I definitely need that, so yeah, uh, new picks of uh, Brawl from MMC. And we finally got some ending picks that finally this thing is coming out. EX-01, nice. This is their RC, which they've been showing tons and tons of picks over the past, I don't know, you know, six months. And it's finally, finally coming out there. The pre-orders has been set out and everything, and um, uh, it's it's about time. So yeah, this thing is finally coming out. It looks really good. I love the metallic, you know, pink and everything. It looks really good. Uh, so I'm excited for her. So yeah, we got some new nice final picks and it's finally coming out. About time. Come on now. Well folks, that's all we got for third party news. So let's move on to official. And it looks like we got a bunch of listings. So new Transformers Kingdom Studio Series 1986 and Masterpiece listings for Target. So there's a list right here. So we got new Masterpiece Bumblebee. Uh, no information. It could be a you know the Camaro, you know the 77 Camaro uh, listed at $79.09. Uh, we got Transform Transformers Slag and Daniel, Earthrise Runabout, which everybody knows about. The uh, Seeker Thrust is coming, thank God. Um, uh, Transformers Cup. We got Jazz, which is deluxe, awesome. We got an Astro Train. Uh, then we got some others to be uh, announced. Uh, we got some future projects. We got Jolt, Dino, Sideswipe, Bumblebee, Grimlock. We got Starscream. Uh, for, it looks like it might be uh, one for Kingdom and another one for Studio Series. So we got two Starscreams coming. We got a Scourge. We got a Hot Rod, this is a Voyager. We got a Cyclonus Voyager. Uh, we got another Optimus Prime coming. Uh, Inferno, then we got some Rhinox, Dinobot, and Tigertron, which is gonna be a Voyager too, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, we got some new listings uh, for that for Target, and we got some more coming up. Now we got some Walmart listings as well for Transformers Kingdom. It looks like we got a list of uh, Deluxe Huffer. We got Deluxe Pipes coming, which is pretty cool. We never got a Pipes, I don't think. Uh, we got Wheeljack, we got Tracks, we got Deluxe Shadow Panther. Uh, we got a Leader Galvatron coming. We got a Deluxe Waftonator, a Deluxe Air Razor, a Deluxe Slammer, Deluxe Wing Finger, uh, which I don't know who that is, a Deluxe uh, Ractonite, who that is, Deluxe Scorponok. Uh, we got Deluxe RC, and we got a Leader Class Ultra Magnus Earth Mode. So that's pretty cool. <sighs> that's really neat that we're getting a Huffer and a Pipes, man. I don't think we have ever got a Pipes. I think G1 Pipes is the only one we have out there. So that's pretty neat. So yeah, we got a bunch of new stuff coming from, uh, you know, uh, Kingdom, and this is some new Walmart listings. You know, take it with a grain of salt, but more than likely this is what we're going to get. So pretty neat. And then we even got more Walmart listings. This is a new list, or this, you know, same ones are the last one I just said. Uh, but it looks like I said we got Cheater. We got a, a Deluxe Warpath coming. We got Black Arachnia. We got a Core Rat Trap. Rat Traps. I think it's going to be like a Legends class scale or something like that. And we got a Core Optimus Prime as well coming. Uh, we got a bunch of core stuff coming. So 
some Voyager later class, uh, later Optimus Prime, uh, like I said, the Voyager Cyclonus and Optimus Primal we're getting uh, Voyager and a T-Rex Megatron and Voyager scale as well. Or no, I'm sorry, that's later class for the T-Rex Megatron. So that's going to be awesome. Nah, man, we got a lot of stuff coming. I think the rumor is that uh, Earthrise is going to end around in October or November and we're going to start getting Kingdom stuff in December. So really looking forward to that um uh, you know all on board on this stuff and everything so yeah new stuff walmart listings and target listings from uh you know the new uh 86 movie stuff and for uh, kingdom and just a bunch of studio series man we just got a bunch of stuff coming jeebus now we got new images of a generation select figure that's uh, on pre-order right now for bug bite and he is one of the mercenaries so they're going pretty good on this mercenary uh kind of thing going on so very nicely done you know bug bite is going to be a repaint of uh, Cliff Jumper, and it looks pretty good. Um, it's on pre-order right now on Hasbro Pulse, and uh, I think it's uh, Entertainment Earth also has it as well. So if you want to get the bug bite, here you go. And then we got some more rumors: Studio Series Devastator box set incoming. Yay! Uh, like I said, I always take it with a grain of salt and everything, but it looks like instead of having to wait for all of them to come out, they're all going to come out in one big old box. So if you love the Bayverse Devastator. Man, this might be your thing to get, all right? So yeah, new images of Studio Series Devastator box set incoming. So it looks like we are getting Transformer 7. So New Republic Pictures to co-finance Transformer 7. They got a 10 picture deal uh, going on. It has Mission Impossible 7, got some Top Gun, uh, got Coming to America, that's pretty cool. Uh, uh, they got uh, Clifford the Big Red Dog, I remember that, that's pretty cool. You know, so they got some pictures coming and everything. So uh, the 7 Transformer movie was originally supposed to be co-financed by Hua Hua Media in China, a fallout of Paramount following the aftermath of the critical and financial failure of Transformers last night, the last night, uh, led to the big, uh, the deal being, you know, nullified and everything. So it looks like we're going to get Transformers 7. I know we're getting a Beast Wars movie, so hopefully we'll get, you know, I think I'm definitely we're getting a Bumblebee 2, I think is coming as well. So yeah, we're getting Transformer 7. All right, I know a lot of people are excited for that. And then moving on to statue news, which we got a couple things going on. We got the new Tarn statue by Azura C Studios, which I showed you last time. Uh, we got that Starscream coming, and we got Optimus Prime coming, and uh, Bludgeon, I think, is also coming as well. But now we have Tarn, and my God, these things look freaking beautiful. Oh, so nice. A lot of detail, a lot of just sculpt work, and man some really good nice stuff here so yeah if you love tarn and if you love statues this is probably one to be uh, one to be getting everything so yeah this is from the idw comics uh tarn and so it looks really good yeah so uh new tarn from uh zura c studios 3d renders then XM Studios has a Nemesis Prime coming. The statue is a color sample right now. Uh, they got other stuff, you know, Optimus Prime, Soundwave, Grimlock, Bumblebee, Megatron, and Starscream, which oh, I love to get that Starscream. Uh, but yeah, new images uh, from this Nemesis Prime. And once again, freaking beautiful. I mean, my God. It's got a, a light up feature of the Matrix Chamber, uh, a little small Nemesis Prime in truck mode that will be offered as well. So man, this thing looks freaking beautiful as well. It looks expensive <laughs> too. They're all expensive. But yeah, XM Studios has a Nemesis Prime coming. And last but not least, we got some G2 love. So we got some Generation Selects Voyager Sandstorm, which is a repaint of their of the Conehead. So it's probably gonna be Ramjet. And then we also got Select Voyager G2 Megatron exclusives. They're up for pre-order right now. They're basically just repaints and everything. Maybe some retool. Maybe I think the G2 uh, Megatrons are retool maybe. Uh, but yeah, we got some new stuff coming with uh, some G2 love. Who doesn't love some G2 love? Uh, uh, uh. So yeah, Megatron and Sandstorm is coming our way. You gonna get them? I'm gonna get them. Heck yeah. All right, folks, that's all we got this week for uh, new stuff and Transformers and everything. So hope you liked it. Are you excited for anything? I know I am, man. That Starscream looks freaking awesome. Can't wait. So yeah, I got some G2 love. Got a bunch of new listings, man. It's just great to be a Transformer collector right now. So hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care readers. Go there and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. And uh, hit me up with some comments. Tell me what you're excited for. And I guess I'll see you on the next What's New in Transformers. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell has bro, and good night, folks.